All right, I'm tying a graphic caddis. This is a John Barfly that is super effective uh, through about any caddis that you'll find anywhere. Uh, this is tied in anywhere from size 14 to size 18 on a 24.99 SP. And the first thing I'm going to do is tie in my microtubing. And this is just, um, I'm using a Wopsy Clear uh, UT or uh, stretch tubing. And I'm going to start on my side and just secure it. And then I'm going to stretch it. And I'm just going to continue back. And I'm going to go a little bit farther on this one than you would on uh, most flies you'd think of. You just want to get that long, uh, elongated body right there. Now the next thing I'm going to take is a holographic tinsel. And I'm just going to tie that in right at the back, right here. Come down the bend, and then I'm going to bring my thread forward. And right about this point, I'm going to start doubling over and try to give the fly a little bit of a taper. And if you do hit that point, this is a sharp point hook, may get a little bit of fray material there which is not that big of a deal since we're wrapping over it with microtubing. Now I'm going to come to the back right about here. I'm going to let my thread just sit right there. Get the tubing out of the way and put it in my material spring. And I'm just going to take that holographic tinsel and give it a couple turns right back here right behind the eye I'm sorry right there at the base and once I got a few turns on there I'm just going to grab it and cut that out and just examine kind of every which side, make sure everything's looking smooth. Bring my thread forward. Now I'm going to take my microtubing. And since that tinsel is somewhat of a slick material, that first wrap can be a little tricky to grab. We just want to make sure that each wrap after is right up against the previous and I'll back that up a few right there Capture your, your tubing, a couple wraps on top, a few behind to secure it, stretch it, and cut it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is take a Hungarian partridge feather, and I've already pre cut out the tip like that, and I'm just going to lay it in right over the top. Now with this first wrap, I just want to make sure that I grab it nice and easy. This first run is really just to get it to spin around like so. And if you're a little long, you can always just snug it up a little bit. Just 
just like that. And I'm going to cut that out. And that's good coverage around. That's what we're looking for. And now I'm going to take um, a natural colored ostrich hurl right here. Take two pieces and tie those in right here. And I'm going to spin them so that they stay together when I wrap forward. And just want to get your fingers wet and just stroke some of those fibers back. And now I'm just going to spin it. Just make it a nice wide collar. Like that. Grab the ostrich with the thread, secure it. Pull it back, put two wraps in front, and trim it. Now I'll just grab all my fiber and just pull it back just to get it off the eye, like that. And then at this point, I, I suppose you could use a, um, a green head, but I've always known Caddis to have a black head, so I'm just taking a black Sharpie coloring my thread and we'll just dye that right there make it a little longer and then I'm going to whip finish one two three And that is a graphic caddis.